Okay, good morning, students. Today we are going to learn one prose lesson, and this is the last prose lesson from your English textbook moments. Okay, and the name of the story is the Adventures of Toto, and this story it's written by an Indian English writer. Okay, and the name of that person is Ruskin Bond. He's a very famous. Indian writer. Okay, yes. So Ruskin born was born on nineteenth May, nineteen thirty four. Okay, he was born in India, and uh, he also lives right now. Okay, yes. Where does he live? He lives in Missouri. Okay, and the name of the place is Landor. He lives in Landor, a small place in Missouri. Okay, yes. So uh, I heard that uh, which you see uh, every weekend he used to visit one uh, a library in Missouri. Okay, yes. So every day he used to visit that uh, library and then he used to interact with his uh, which you see fans like this. Okay, mm. and uh, he received so many awards. Okay, uh, I am sure you are familiar with some of the. Famous Indian awards. Okay, yes. So to name two awards, uh, what should I say? Mr. Ruskin Bond received Padma Shri and Padma Bhushan because he has written so many, uh, what should I say, books. Okay. So these were the two awards he received. Okay. There are so many. Okay. Yes. So I told you the name of the story is the Adventures of Toto. Okay. Yes. So before we read the story, let us try to look at the words. For example, what do you mean by adventure? Okay, yes, you know the word adventure. Okay, it's very adventurous. Okay, uh, we had lots and lots of adventure like this. And likewise, uh, what is Toto? Who is Toto? Okay, it says the adventures of Toto. Now, who do you think Toto is? Okay, yes. Now let us try to see. Okay, yes. So, who is Toto, and what is the meaning of adventure? Do you have any idea? Okay, yes. So, without further ado, let us uh, try to know. Okay, yes. So, the adventure of Toto. Toto is a name of a, a monkey baby. Okay, you see the picture of that monkey baby. Okay, so his name is Toto. So that means we are. Uh, this is a story about. A small monkey called Toto. Okay, yes. And the word adventure. Adventure means unusual and daring experience or activity. Okay. Sometimes you go out uh, just for the sake of adventure because you may come across unusual and daring experiences. You may indulge in different uh, unusual activities. So we call it adventure. Okay. Yes. Now, adventures of Toto is a story. So. Uh, when we come across any story, there are different types of narration we have already done. Okay, first person narration where the story starts with I, I, I. Okay, and we have the third person narration. So this particular story, Adventures of Toto, the narration is in third person. Okay, the narrator is there, but he started telling the story in third person. What are the third person? He, she, they, like this. Okay, yes. Now in a story, there are characters. When I say characters in a story, uh, uh, we don't uh, just mean the human beings. Even the animals, they become the character. Okay, yes. To you know, to introduce to you some of the characters, we have the narrator, we have grandfather, we have grandmother, Toto, obviously the main protagonist, the hero. Okay, and then Tonka driver, Tonka, you know. Okay, yes, the vehicle. Okay. And ticket collector, and there are so many animals in the zoo. Okay, now these are some of the characters. Okay, yes. So these are the thing and the setting. Okay, yes, it take place. Okay, uh, in a narrator's hometown. Okay, yes, and this story also takes place in India, not very far. It happens in the country where we live. Okay, yes, and we have got a grandfather. Okay, yes, grandfather. As far as the grandfather is concerned, he loves animal. Okay, he is an animal lover. Not only that, he had also created a small zoo in his home. Okay, yes, 
And what about this Toto, the monkey baby? Okay, baby monkey, uh, he used to be very naughty and mischievous. And I'm sure you have seen the monkeys everywhere, okay? These monkeys are mischievous. They uh, which will create lots and lots of trouble, problem, okay? And they are very naughty, isn't it? So, uh, the story is Adventures of Toto. So, we will come across the different adventures of Toto, unusual and daring experiences, okay? Yes, so what are these? So, let us try to uh, go through the story. Okay, yes. Now, uh, we have got uh, the two paragraph, the first paragraph and two as uh, the second paragraph, okay? Yes, first paragraph talk about how, uh, what should I say, uh, Toto came into their life and the second paragraph talk about the, uh, what should I say, the monkey Toto. It's a descriptive, uh, what should I say, paragraph. Okay, yes. So I want you to go through this. I'm not going to read each and everything here. Okay, this is the first and second paragraph. And then I will just, uh, what should I give you the summary of the uh, paragraph, first and second paragraph. Okay, yes. So you know we have the grandfather. I told you grandfather is an animal lover. Okay, yes. So whenever he come across some animals and he used to take pity, okay? And then he used to, what should I say, take this animal to his home. You know that uh, he has got his own zoo in the home, okay? Yes. So the grandfather, he just came across one small uh, baby monkey, isn't it? Okay? And he got that monkey, okay, from a Tonga driver. So, Tonga driver is a block cart, okay? Yes, uh, some kind of a, uh, which a transportation, okay, uh, that is found in, uh, what should I say, villages and small town, Tonga driver, okay? Yes, and he uh, felt very pity, okay, with the monkey, and then he bought that small baby monkey from the Tonga driver for just five rupees, okay? So, when I say five rupees, uh, uh, there isn't anything for you to be surprised of five rupees, okay? We have to keep in mind that the story takes place long time ago when five rupees uh, has a, a, what should I say, considerable uh, value, okay? Yes, so we have to go back to the time when the story takes place, okay? Yes, and then he felt pity to see the monkey and he wanted to keep him in the zoo. So he bought it from a Tanka driver for how much? Uh, for five rupees. Okay, yes. So that was about uh, the first paragraph. Okay, yes. And in the second paragraph, I told you, okay, yes, this second paragraph talks about the description of uh, Toto, the monkey. Okay, yes. If you read this particular paragraph, this is a very good example of descriptive writing, okay? Yes, so uh, descriptive writing, descriptive paragraph is in your class 9 syllabus, isn't it? So when we talk about descriptive writing, you are not going to tell any history, you are not going to put any argument like this. You are basically describing, okay, the physical look like this. So if you go to, if you read this second paragraph, you will get some idea about the descriptive writing. So in the second paragraph, uh, the narrator talks about uh, Toto, okay, that monkey, okay, description. He looks pretty, bright eyes, look at the eyes, bright, teeth, pearly, white, hands, dried up, fingers, quick and wicked, uh, uh, fingers are referred as quick and wicked, why? Uh, the monkey's finger, they are very quick and they're wicked means they grab everything they see, isn't it? So, wicked, okay. And then the monkey has got the tail and the narrator says uh, the tail is also the third hand. Why? Because whenever they could not uh, stretch their hand, okay? Yes, they used to use the uh, tail to scoop means to take the tables. Okay, yes. So if you look at para number two, you will find the uh, description. Okay, this is a very good example of descriptive writing. So if you are asked to describe a person, now this is how your writing should look like. Okay, yes. So with this, we have come to the end of first and second paragraph. Now let us talk about third. Okay, third and fourth. Okay, yes. Now, uh, again, I want you to read this. I'm not going to read it, each and everything because the video 
gets very long. Okay, yes. So this is the second and third, and I'm going to tell you the brief summary of this. Okay, yes. Now we know that uh, Toto uh, was uh, bought by uh, the narrator's grandfather for rupees five from Donka driver. Okay, yes. So he has to carry, he has to bring it to his home. Now uh, they have got one grandmother. Okay, narrator has grandmother. The grandmother is quite different from the grandfather. We know that grandfather loves animal, but the grandmother, uh, she was not that much, uh, what should you say, in love with the animals. Okay, yes. Oh, and then uh, her grandmother used to worry, okay, first, okay, whenever uh, which your grandfather brings some animals home, okay? So the grandpa, uh, grandmother used to worry. Now, uh, they were afraid that uh, grandmother might say anything, okay? Yes, because she, uh, she used to worry about that thing. And then we know that grandfather and the narrator, they bought one uh, monkey, isn't it? So, uh, they have to hide the monkey from the grandmother. Okay, so Toto's present, this was kept secret. Secret from whom? From the grandmother. Because grandmother, she did not like uh, her husband. That means the grandfather bringing all sorts of animals, pets, like this, birds and animals like this. So, in order to keep Toto uh, away from the grandmother, what did they do? They put they kept Toto in the closet. So closet means the cupboard where we put clothes, okay? And they build a special place and then they uh, hung it on the wall, okay? Yes. So they kept it in order to, what should I say, keep him away from the grandmother. And so after putting that uh, monkey in the closet, after a few hours, they came, okay? The grandfather and, and the narrator came to see whether uh, Toto was doing fun or not. Okay, so when they came, when they checked the closet, they were surprised. Okay, now what happened? Okay, Toto had already freed himself. Not only that, okay, the narrator, he used to go to school and the school, uh, they have their own blazers. Blazer means coat. Okay, yes. So Toto, Toto had Torn narrator school blazer into so many pieces. Okay, we know the monkey very naughty, mischievous. Okay, and on the walls there are so many paper decoration. Okay, yes. So the monkey had torn all these things. So the whole room was in a mess, isn't it? Okay, yes. Now narrator and the grandfather was worried, but not about the blazer and the what should you see the torn walls like this. Now they are worried about the grandmother. Okay, if the grandmother would find it, what would she do? What would she think? What would she say? So they were worried about the grandmother more than uh, what the monkey had done. Okay, actually it's a loss. Okay, but they were worried about the grandmother. Okay, yes, because till now they had been keeping that monkey secret. Okay, from the grandmother. Oh, yes. Okay, now we go to the next. Okay. And now we have got two more paragraphs. I want you to go through this, read this, okay? Yes. And then I'm going to tell you the summary. Okay, yes. Now here we are talking about parent number five and parent number six. Okay, yes. And the grandfather, uh, he said that, uh, what should I say, uh, Toto was very clever. So I think it has got a negative, it, uh, some kind of sarcastic. Grandfather said that the monkey was very clever. Okay, yes. So uh, he means to say that he was not clever because if the monkey was clever, we know that uh, narrator's blazer has been torn into pieces. He could, what you use the torn pieces and then escape him from uh, the window, isn't it? Okay, yes. Made into a thread and then he can, what you say, free himself from the. Uh, window, but he did not do like this. So the grandfather was saying that he was very clever. So you can see, okay, that uh, what should you say? He means the opposite, isn't it? Okay, yes. Now, till now, the grandmother did not know anything. So many things happened, but thank God the grandmother did not know the secret. Okay, 
So uh, first uh, grandfather and narrator put Toto in the closet. Now uh, that was the case. Okay, now they started transferring. Okay, Toto was transferred into a big cage, and then instead of their uh, closet. Uh, they put it in the servant's quarter. So they may be having lots and lots of servants working in their home. Okay, yes. So they put uh, Toto in a servant's quarter where there are other pet animals. So we know that grandfather loved animals and he used to keep lots and lots of animals in his own small zoo. Okay, now what are some of the pet animals uh, the grandfather had? Tortoise, rabbits, squirrel, and a goat. Okay, now these are some. So the Toto was uh, supposed to stay with them. Okay, but the Toto did not let other animals sleep. We know that Toto, that small monkey, was very naughty, mischievous. So he did not let other animals sleep. Okay, yes. So that was the problem. Okay, the moment uh, which is the grandfather brought Toto in his home, so many problems came up. Okay, yes. So what happened? The next morning, grandfather had to go to Daradun, okay, uh, Daradun and Saranpur, okay. So in order to go to Saranpur uh, from Masuri, uh, he has to go to Daradun, and from Daradun he has to go to uh, which is Saranpur through train, okay, not by bus but by train. So. Uh, the grandfather knew that Toto was very mischievous and without uh, the grandfather, okay, uh, he would create more problem. So what did the grandfather do? Grandfather decided to take Toto with him. To where? To Saranpur. Okay. Uh, what was his purpose of going there? Because he, uh, he had to take some pension. So he used to get pension from the government. So every month he has to go to Saranpur to get his pension. So if he left Toto in the home, then Toto would do so many things. So in, uh, so in order to, what you say, be safe, okay, in order not to let the grandmother know about this, grandfather decided to take Toto to Saranpur. Okay, so let us see. And next, we have got two more paragraphs, okay? I want you to go through this, okay? It's very easy. And let me jump on to the uh, summary, okay? Oh, para number seven and eight, okay? Uh, we have got the narrator, isn't it? Actually, the narrator could go with the grandfather, but this time, the narrator could not accompany, okay? Help grandfather uh, to Saranpur, okay? So the grandfather had to go alone with Toto. So, what did the grandfather do? The grandfather, uh, he put Toto in a big black canvas kit bag, okay, big one, okay, and that bag was very strong, okay, uh, even if Toto, okay, uh, which is a try to come out, it would be not possible because the bag was very strong, okay, so there, is, there was no way Toto could escape from the bag. Okay, and then he put the zip. Okay, so luckily Toto remained good till Saranpur. Okay, from Masuri, Daradun, and then Saranpur. So Saranpur was the last station. Okay, yes, and we know that he came uh, in a train. Okay, yes. So now at the railway station, there would be ticket collector who would check the ticket, isn't it? Because there will be people who. Uh, who would be traveling without ticket. So the ticket collector checks, stops each passenger and then look for the ticket. So, so far Toto was very good. Okay, but unfortunately, uh, when they came to the ticket collector, Toto, okay, that naughty monkey, he just poked his hat out and smiled at him. He means the ticket collector, okay, as if he was saying, okay, I'm here in the back like this. So the monkey came out, okay? And obviously, we can imagine how the grandfather would have felt that time, okay? Actually, he was trying to hide everything, okay? Yes, Toto just poked his head out and smiled at the ticket collector. Okay, so let us see what would the ticket collector do, okay? Yes, so actually, uh, you are not supposed to 
carry animals okay when you travel okay in a car or a bus or an aeroplane they will charge some fare isn't it so let us see okay para number there are three paragraphs i want you to read and let me go to the summary okay para 9 to 12 okay small paragraph 9 10 11 12 okay so obviously the ticket collector was taken aback was surprised you know to see that monkey in a bag okay yes and then uh, what should i say uh, the ticket collector told the grandfather that uh, oh you have got a dog okay so you must uh, uh, what should i say give me the fare for the dog okay because we charge okay fare for the dogs so we all know that uh, Toto was not a dog. Okay, so the grandfather, he just said that, oh, so this is not a dog, this is a monkey. Okay, and we don't know whether uh, the monkey can be, what should we say, put into animals or quadrupt. Okay, dog or quadrupt. Dog, okay, yes, quadrupt means the animal who has got four legs. Okay, yes, and the dogs, although they walk on the four legs, but they charge a special amount for the dogs. Okay, yes. So uh, the ticket collector uh, did not listen to what the grandfather had told. Okay, so finally grandfather had to give how many? He had to give rupees three. Why? Because according to the rule, uh, uh, the dogs were charged rupees three. Okay, they are not allowed to carry dogs. Okay, if they carry, then they have to pay the uh, travel fare. Okay, so it uh, it must be rupees three. Okay, yes. So the grandfather had to, uh, which is say, give three rupees, and during that time, three rupees not a small small one. Okay, yes, we know that Toto itself was bought for five rupees. Okay, yes. So uh, as a fare for the. Uh, animal he had to keep three and he was not that much happy okay so grandfather he was quite angry the way he said okay what did he say he just take out a tortoise okay he had also carried a tortoise in his pocket and he just showed this to the ticket collector and then say uh, whether he should uh, pay a fare for this animal uh, or not okay and then he was trying to Mm, what should we say? Uh, Prove that he was right like this. Okay, but uh, the and uh, the ticket collector he just look at him and then said, okay, so we don't charge. Okay, why? Because it is not a dog. Okay, if it is a dog, then we charge. Okay, so we don't charge for all the animal. We charge only for the dogs. Okay, so that was the reply given by the ticket collector. Okay, so you see. When Toto was first brought, we see the kind of situation Toto created. And now uh, the grandfather took Toto to Saranpur and uh, un uh, unfortunately grandfather had to give rupees three. Okay, now these are all the trouble, okay, as soon as Toto came into their life. Okay, yes. Now let us uh, read further. Okay, now we have got two more paragraphs here, very short. I want you to read this, okay? And let me jump on to the summary, okay? Pattern number 13 and 14. Okay, yes. Now so many days have passed and finally grandmother came to know that they had got one monkey in their home. Okay, yes. But luckily grandmother finally accepted Toto. Now there is no need for the writer and the grandfather to uh, which we say hi Toto okay yes the grandmother knew and she accepted okay Toto to be the part of their family so luckily Toto received a comfortable home okay yes and now a stable so you remember first Toto was put in a closet and next Toto was uh, put in a big cage in a servant's quarter now Toto received a comfortable home that is the stable okay where the donkey there was one donkey also what is the name of that donkey nana where donkey used to live okay yes so toto was sent okay in a stable uh, with the donkey so uh, it was the first night okay 
So the narrator, uh, I mean, uh, the grandfather went to see how Toto was doing. Okay, yes. And then he paid a visit. And then he came to know that Toto was still causing trouble to Nana. You know, the Toto, he used to create lots and lots of problems to all the people, all the animals. Now, even to Nana, the donkey, uh, Toto was uh, which was causing trouble. Okay, what did he do? He had just fastened on Nana's long ears. Okay, the donkeys had got long ear. So what did the monkey do? Monkey had fastened on Nana's long ears with his teeth. Okay, yes. And we know that the monkeys, they have got the sharp teeth. So Nana was having a trouble that night. Okay, yes. So you see, actually Toto was sent with uh, to stay with donkey Nana so that they would become friends but there was no way Toto could become friends okay so Toto and Nana never became friends okay because Toto was very mischievous naughty like this okay yes so you see the trouble caused by uh, Toto okay yes again we have got two more paragraphs okay two short one I want you to uh, pause this and then read okay give it a reading let me go to the summary. Pattern number 15 and 16. Okay, yes. Now, it was a great tip for Toto. Treat. Okay, when when you are happy and what you do, you just give treat to your friends. Okay, if friend has done some remarkable work or birthday, what do you do? You give treat. So, you give him some, uh, take him to which is some restaurant, give some present so that is what treat means okay yes so what was the treat Toto received okay Toto received a warm water ball in winter in winter it's very cold okay yes we are talking of Masuri okay it's a hilly place winter would be very cold okay so during that time uh, Toto would receive warm water ball so that he could take bath isn't it and you see that uh, Toto he cunningly used to test the water temperature. He used to make sure that the water was warm so that he could enjoy the bath. Okay. And then, just like a human being, because he had already seen the narrator taking bath. Okay. What would he do? He just take the water temperature. If the temperature is good, fit for his bath, first he would put the first foot and then the other. And then finally, he used to put whole body okay yes just like a human being okay where did he learn this he learned this from the narrator okay yes and sometimes when the water gets cold uh, Toto would get out of the water and then he used to go to the kitchen fire okay to warm himself and then everybody knew everybody knew that when Toto was doing all these things they should not be laughing if they laughed suppose if they laughed then next time Toto would never take bath. Okay, so that's why uh, even if Toto did so many things, they never used to make fun of it. They never used to laugh because they know the consequence of laughing. Okay, Toto would never take bath. Okay, yes. And now there was one incident where Toto nearly boiled himself. Okay, yes. So there was one incident. So you see, that is why the name of the story is The Adventures of Toto. We are talking about the unusual incidents, experience of Toto. Okay, yes. So there was one incident where Toto nearly boiled himself. Okay, so let us read what happened. Okay, yes. Yeah, these two paragraphs. Okay, I want you to read. Let us go to the summary. Paragraph 17 and 18. Okay, so what was the incident? This was the incident. A large kitchen kettle was kept on a fire to boil for for tea, okay, not for the bath, okay. So a large kitchen kettle was on fire, and then we know that uh, Toto was very messy, okay, yes. So what did he do? He just opened the lid, and he saw the water, and he thought that it was uh, for his bath, okay. So what did he do? He just got in that kettle, okay, and then the water was not that much hot isn't it it was warm because the water will start uh, which is boiling gradually isn't it so he thought that it was fit for his part so what did he do he just got in and then he uh, which is uh, started taking bath okay 
and then he felt very comfortable and then he used to hop up and down okay uh, when he uh, hop up he used to feel cold and then he used to again uh, hop down because the water is warm so he was doing like this and we know that if he did not come out okay at certain point then he would get boiled isn't it because the water will gradually start boiling but thank god what happened okay the grandmother came at the right time okay if the grandmother did not come then uh, what you see toto would have been boiled okay in the hot water isn't it so the grandmother came she was surprised and then she just hold him so hold me in a move or carry it uh, him out of the kettle because he had already become a hub boy okay if he stayed more than that he would have totally boiled okay and then he would die isn't it so that was the incident so you see he got himself in the kitchen kettle okay nearly boiled himself okay yes now the grandfather was wondering okay yes if there is a part of our brain responsible for mischief okay we said that we have got different parts of our brain if there is one particular brain which is responsible for all the mischievous things i think that part would be largely developed in toto because we know that toto is a uh, very mischievous okay and then the part of the brain which is responsible for sex would be largely developed in toto okay so that uh, he said like this okay yes and we know that toto loved tearing things he used to tear and you must have seen in your own daily experiences uh, the behavior of the monkeys okay they tear they create lots and lots of problem okay and uh, uh, what you say the narrator used to receive so many aunties okay has got so many aunts okay yes whenever the aunties come uh, toto used to get hold of their dress and then he always used to make sure that he made one hole okay yes so this is how he destroyed everything okay tearing all these things okay yes now there was another incident okay you remember the first one where he nearly boiled himself okay that was the incident and now here we have got the second incident let us read okay yes you go through this and i will go to the summary okay so what was the incident it was during the lunch time on the table there was pulao so pulao is a traditional food okay yes rice and dal mixed together okay yes so it was ready and the lunch was ready so uh, when they came to the which is a dining table they were surprised to see okay what did they see they saw toto stuffing himself rice before them actually they should start eating isn't it but before them toto, uh, toto started stuffing stuffing means put he started putting the rice in his mouth okay yes grandmother was shocked and he just, she just screamed okay everybody would be angry okay yes she just screamed now look at toto what did he do toto threw plate at her okay yes as if he is the boss isn't it so grandmother screamed but toto threw plate at her not only that one of the aunt came forward okay and what did she receive she received a glass of water on her face so look at that monkey okay and then the grandfather came and then when the grandfather came what did toto do toto picked a dish and he just exit from the window okay yes and the whole afternoon he stayed on the tree okay uh, the name of the tree was jackfruit tree okay and then he was enjoying the rice okay he did not waste a single grain of rice whole afternoon he just kept eating okay yes and then he just look at the grandmother we know that the grandmother was angry and she was screaming at toto isn't it and then in order to take revenge or in order to inside make grandmother angry what did toto uh, toto do toto threw the dish through the dish on which he was eating the rice isn't it and not only that the dish would come down and then uh, what you say will the dish broke into thousand pieces isn't it so when the dish broke into pieces 
Toto chattered with delight. So chattered means the sound of the monkey. He just enjoyed, okay? Oh, because as if he had done some revenge to the grandmother who was screaming at him, isn't it? So such was the, uh, what should I say, the behavior, okay? Yes, the naughtiness of the monkey, okay? Yes. Now you see, there wasn't any good thing, okay? We know that the grandfather had got lots and lots of other animal as a pet, okay? But none of these animals had caused such havoc and problem uh, to the grandfather and his family, okay? It was uh, Toto who created lots and lots of problem for the family, not only the family, for uh, other animals in the zoo, isn't it? And then finally the grandfather realized, okay, yes, she, he did not like, uh, what should you say, Toto, okay, yes. He thought that Toto was not a pet, okay, to be kept for long. So normally we keep pet animal and we keep as long as we can, isn't it? But grandfather realized his mistake and he said that uh, Toto was not a pet to be kept for long, okay? If he kept on, if he kept Toto for a long time, then uh, what should I say, all the things, okay, uh, would be destroyed by Toto, okay? And the grandfather, uh, what should I say, was not a rich family, okay? If he was a rich family, even if Toto threw and break all the things, they, they could easily afford to buy a new one. But then, uh, what should I say, the grandfather's family was not rich, okay? And if Toto kept on, what should I say, uh, doing uh, the destruction, for example, the losses, okay? The dishes, break dishes, tear clothes, and uh, would you tear down the curtains like this? Uh, the family cannot afford such loss, isn't it? And then, so what did the grandfather do? The grandfather, he just met Tonka driver. Okay, you remember who was the Tonka driver? Tonka driver is the person from whom he bought Toto for five rupees. Okay, so grandfather finally sold Toto back to the Tonka driver for how much? For three rupees. Okay, remember he bought it for five rupees and now he sold it for three rupees. So rupees two loss, isn't it? I think it was worth because if he kept on keeping Toto, then uh, what should I say? Uh, they fa his family would become bankrupt, isn't it? Bankrupt. Okay, yes, they had to bear all the loss. Okay, dishes, okay, clothes, paper walls, all these things. So with this, we have come to the end of the story, The Adventures of Toto. I'm sure you have enjoyed this. It's a humorous short story, uh, which was written by which was an Indian writer, Ruskin Bond. I told you, Ruskin Bond still lives in Missouri. Okay, if you are lucky, you would be able to bump into Ruskin Bond uh, in one of the weekends if you go to Missouri. Okay, yes. And now, uh, what should I say, what did you learn from this story? Okay, yes. So the monkeys, they are not uh, what should I say, domestic animal, they are wild animal. Okay, they don't know how to behave. Okay, so if, uh, if you are in a family, it's very important for you to have some kind of manner. Okay, yes. So the grandfather had got so many animals as a pet. Okay, they did not create any problem. Okay, the monkey, it was the monkey. Toto, who created lots and lots of problem, and uh, so much that the grandfather finally realized that it was not the right decision to buy or keep Toto as a pet for long. So he finally sold it back to the Tonka driver for rupees three. Did you understand? Okay, so I'm sure you have enjoyed this. I want you to go through the story. You just read the which is a paragraph by paragraph, okay? And then you just look at the summary here, okay? And then you will understand the story. And after, which is a, doing this, I want you to uh, go through the exercises. If you've got exercise, you just uh, try to do some of the important questions. There's no need for you to do each and every exercise, okay? Uh, you just go through the question and see which are important ones okay and then you can do the important ones and you can also write a small note or summary okay yes, so that you can keep the story in your mind
Okay, so I'm going to stop here. Okay, bye-bye and take care.